So uh, a lot of you commented on the previous video I did about this, uh, the outdoor temperature sensor. Well, a couple of people were talking about um, the current consumption um, and I'm using the ASM1117 regulator. That's because it's already on this uh, little breakout board for the ESP8266. Now I can't change that for the, uh, it's the HT7333 I think. Uh, I've got some of those. Um, let me just grab them actually. So I bought some SMD versions um, and that's so that I can make my own board in the future. But at the moment we're working with hardware that's got the ASM1117 on. Um, and so we're going to try and work around it. Uh, what I'd like to do in the future is stick an AT Tiny 85 on that breadboard and have it wake up the, uh, the ESP8266 before the regulator so that we're not bleeding off any of that voltage. The, the AT Tiny 85 should be able to run from the battery voltage. Uh, and it has a very low sleep consumption. So I think down to around 500 nanoamps. That might be wrong though. Um, so we'll get to that point when we, when we test it. But for now, I wanted to actually measure the current consumption. And it's difficult with this because it starts up and it uses something like uh, a peak 120 milliamps or something. Um, and it'll, those will be peak values rather than the uh, 70 milliamps which will uh, which usually happens. So in fact, I can demonstrate this. So I have currently got uh, power hooked up to the battery on my multimeter. Uh, we're in the milliamps and nanoamps, nanoamps, the microamps range. And it's hooked across. So what I can do is turn this to milliamps. Uh, I think this is actually going to throw up an error. I don't think, I think the burden voltage is too high on here. So if I turn this on, we can hopefully see the current consumption. So it's reading 140 milliamps and it should turn off. If it doesn't turn off, I know it's the burden voltage on this. No, it's gone too long now, so I know it's the burden voltage. What I can do is just turn that off and then we'll switch this over to the amp range where the burden voltage is less and we'll turn it on now. So you can see we're reading about 74 milliamps and uh, given about five seconds or so of activity, it should drop down to a very small amount. So you've seen that those peaks there, that's it communicating over the internet and now it's dropped down to two milliamps. But that's not a very good measurement. So we want something a bit higher resolution. So what we're gonna do is, uh, I can't remember your name, I'm sorry, but you commented and said, why don't you short the leads out? And then when you're sure it's gone to sleep, take them off so that you can read it. And that's a really good idea. So if I just turn that off, I'll bung that into the milliamps range. We'll turn it back on again. And we're gonna short these leads out while we turn it on. If I can figure out how to hold them, there we go. So we'll turn it on. And we're gonna see some numbers flickering around on here, but essentially we've shorted these out. So the battery is going directly into the regulator on the, uh, the board here. Uh, and then when I'm confident that it's gone to sleep, which is probably around now, I can take this off and we'll see what the reading is in milliamps. So there we go, that's our reading, 2.485. And if you remember, we did some sort of rough calculations and figured out that it would be about 2.5. That's what we figured it would have been drawing uh, on average, which I wasn't too happy with. So thank you very much to whoever suggested uh, shorting out the terminals. I would never have thought of that, um, so thank you. Uh, next, we need to uh, set up our little AT Tiny 85 for the experiment and we'll see how we go. Other people have commented about using an RTC. Um, I think an AT Tiny 85 is going to do just fine. It can also read the battery voltage for me using its um, built in ADC, which is a higher resolution than the, uh, the ADC that's on the ESP8266. Um, it's probably not a perfect solution, but you know, we're experimenting here, so uh, I'm not going for the best solution possible. I'm just going to work with the hardware that I've got and try and come up with the best solution I can. All right. Well, thanks.